July 4th, Fostering Discontentment. When was the last time you felt discontent? This emotion's not necessarily overt. Sometimes it shows up as quiet dissatisfaction or a restlessness we can't really explain. But it tells us that something's missing, even when it looks like we should be living the dream. This is a difficult place to be, especially as believers. Because yes, even as Christians, we can find ourselves here. But feeling discontent doesn't take place in a vacuum. Rather, specific things in our life can actually feed discontentment. And knowing what they are can help us fix the problem. So just how do we identify these things? Well, it boils down to anything that creates a disconnect between us and God. I'll let Jerry tell you more as he's here to share with us his true story on this Unshackled Daily Devotional. I joined the Navy at 17, married my high school sweetheart, and worked hard for promotions. We had two daughters by the time I took up target shooting. From then on, I devoted most of my spare time to pistol shooting on the range, and I became very good. Unfortunately, I ignored my family when I was home, and then sea duty kept me away as well. I barely noticed when my oldest daughter began focusing on church, and when the pastor came to visit, I slammed the door in his face. But I never slammed the door on pistol competitions, and I never lost in 10 years. When I was made team captain, however, even I noticed my personality problems. I was aggressive and critical, and I didn't like myself very much. I began to wonder if there was anything that could bring me happiness. All those years, my daughters had been asking me to go to church, and I refused. The week before our oldest went away to college, I decided to go. I didn't understand the sermon at all, but I knew those joyous people had something I didn't. The pastor came to visit, and this time I didn't slam the door on him. He told me I could seek the Lord anytime, anywhere, and God would hear. That night, I surrendered my life to Christ. I can't describe the relief and joy I felt when my sins were washed away by the blood of Jesus. And now I share the good news as a pastor myself. In John chapter 15, Jesus instructs his disciples to abide in him. Then he says in verse 11, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Friend, because God is our true satisfaction, discontentment grows as we are disconnected from him. And even as Christians, this is a danger. If we're not careful, we can fill our time and mind with things that draw us away from God and that become idols in our life. So I encourage you to stop and examine where you may be fostering discontentment. Will you receive this truth today? Unshackled, the longest-running audio drama in history, airs on over 3,000 radio stations worldwide. Real people, real-life stories, stirring dramatic accounts of hopelessness and the hope that changes everything. This award-winning program grips the heart with compelling and relevant stories of transformed lives. Without Jesus Christ, we are all shackled by sin, by our wrong choices and selfish motives. But God is at work. And the power of Christ sets us free of our bondage. Listen to a new devotional every day. And don't forget to tell your friends about Unshackled Daily Devotionals.